All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, as you can see in the title, okay, it says, uh, you know, are you preparing your faith, all right, or are you just chilling? Okay, you know, because um, which I'm going to read here in the book of First Peter, the first uh, chapter. All right, <clears throat> preparing your faith is very essential. And very important for the times that we're in right now and the times to come. Okay, and your chance to do that for those of you who, you know, who aren't who aren't rooted, which all of us sh should constantly be working on our faith. All right, but if you're not taking advantage of the time now, if you're not if you're not preparing yourself now while you have the time, okay, when 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 all hell breaks loose and it's time to put forth, all right, what what it is you've gained. It's going to be difficult for you because you're not going to have gained anything. Because when your time, when you had the time to prepare, okay, the time to build your faith, the time to build your works, guess what? You did it. You were just chilling around, okay? And so, as the scriptures say, you reap what you sow, right? So, this is First Peter chapter 1, verse 7. It says that, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than... Uh, then of gold that perisheth, all right, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, which it tells you that in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, all right, about the um, being more precious than gold. All right, I'm going to get it real quick, okay, because our, our in order for your faith to grow, it has to be tried, okay. And so if you're not if you're not doing anything spiritually engaging, all right, your faith is not being tried, your wisdom is not growing, you're staying stagnant. All right? And in this truth, because the Lord said he doesn't want anybody to be lukewarm, if you're not hot or constantly growing, you're not going to just stay in the same spot. No, the Lord is going to start subtracting and start taking away. And what he does is he takes away from you and he adds on to others to build them up. All right, so this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, just a quick precept, uh, verse 5. It says, And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. See, as we read here in First Peter, all right, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than uh, than of gold that perisheth, all right, though it be tried with faith, because your faith stays with you forever, all right, and 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 like like our forefather Abraham, his faith was counted to him for works, all right, because it is through that faith that you act, and that's going to be very key and and very important in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right. There are going to be certain decisions, damn near all your decisions are going to be need. Are gonna need to be made based off of faith, okay? That the decision to refuse to take that microchip, which is the mark of the beast, the decision to to not give in no matter what, the decision to to not let your emotions or your flesh take over based on what you're seeing in front of you, be based on what you're being told, based on the sounds you're hearing, okay? So. Um, going on, all right, verse 8, all right, it says here, Whom having not seen ye love, in whom though ye not, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, all right, which this goes for us as well as those who specifically at the time the apostle Peter was writing to. As it tells you here, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the strangers scattered, scattered through Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and uh, Bithynia. Okay? See, look, elect according to the foreknowledge of, of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and uh, uh, sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. So, Peter was right into the elect, all right, amongst these churches, all right, or, or, or these locations, Okay? And so they they didn't see Yahweh Shai on the scene, but 
Peter, the apostle, was with Yahweh Shai, so he was an eyewitness. Therefore, that's why he's saying, whom having not seen, which they didn't see Yahweh Shai physically, and neither do we see him physically, okay? However, this applies to us because we love Yahweh Shai, as it says here, in whom, though now ye see him not, we don't see Yahweh Shai physically right now, yet believing, because we see him through the word, through the scriptures, all right? We see Yahweh Shai through his acts. We see him through through the, the, what is written of him. As the scriptures say, uh, 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 Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Roughly paraphrasing, but that was that is talking about Yahweh Shai. The word of the Most High. All right? So it says, um, Yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Okay? And is this not something that we, we joy and, and, and rejoice in? Okay, especially when we see these prophecies come to pass. That gets us the most excited. Why? Because we have that spirit of Yahweh Shai. Because what is the spirit of Yahweh Shai? The spirit of prophecy. So it says, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Because we need to have faith. What is faith? Real quick, and we'll come back. Hebrews uh, 11 Verse 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So our faith, all right, and, and hoping to be delivered, all right, from this destruction that's coming and hoping to gain the kingdom and hoping to be crowned and hoping to see how shy again. OK, guess what? Like it says back here in, in, in first Peter, it says receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls because when we get saved when we're in them chariots we're not going to need the evidence of sub substance substance not seen because we're going to see it the scriptures tell you why doth a man hope for all right hope for for, for what he seeth okay uh let me get that real quick for what a man yep uh, Romans 8 verse 24 for we are saved by hope which is what faith but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why doth he yet hope for you see so uh, back to Peter okay it says here receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls because right now we're hoping for that salvation okay we're hoping to be delivered all right, and that is our faith. But when Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, and 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 gives us that salvation, we're not gonna need to have uh, uh, that blind faith of 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 believing without seeing because we're gonna see. All the things we spoke about, the prophecies, they're gonna ha they're gonna come to pass. It says, "Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently." Okay. Because we we understand it, we know what's what's coming. That's why we 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 really we considered, or or we should be considered, which this world doesn't esteem us as that. But the wisest men on the planet, because we know how to get immortality. Okay, we know how to how to survive. All right, the destruction that's coming. We really literally know the future. Okay. So it says, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. All right. And that grace came by by who? Yahweh Shai, which was who, who was prophesied of in the Old Testament. OK. All right. It says searching what or what manner of time the spirit of, of Yahamashiach was in them did signify. So the prophets had the spirit of who? Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai within them. It says, when it testifies beforehand the sufferings of Hamashiach and the glory that shall follow. What is an example of that? Okay, of the uh, 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 um, uh, precept will be, let me see, let's go here. The sufferings of Yahweh Shai, which this was also prophesied in the Old Testament. Okay, Isaiah chapter 53 Verse, uh, mm. oh yeah, verse three, it says, he is despised, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, 
as we hit and we hid as it were our faces from him, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our uh, our sorrows, yet we did esteem him, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High and afflicted. And who is that? That's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. Proof is gonna. I, I, I'll get. I'll get a precept to back this up too. Okay, but this is Isaiah prophesying about Yahweh Shai in the Old Testament. All right, but he was wounded for our transgressions; he was bruised for our iniquities. Did not the Lord uh, bear the sins of the nation upon him when he went on that cross, and and for him and for himself as well? Tells you that in the book of Hebrews. All right, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. That's why when the Lord came, he said, what? I am not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So when Isaiah was prophesying, he said, what? All we, who was that? Israelites, like sheep, the lost sheep have gone astray. And that's why Yahweh had to come and redeem us back to the father. All right. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Okay? He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. Because the Lord didn't resist it in the sense of, oh, now I'm with this. You know, when, when, when he was getting accused, okay? When he was brought before the magistrates, when he was brought before Pontius Pilate, Lord, 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 he was he was quiet. You know, when they asked him questions, some of them he would answer. Sometimes he'd just be quiet. You know, thou saidest, you know, and 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 he wasn't resisting it, fighting it. All right, he was obedient unto death. Okay, because he understood that for prophecy's sake, he had to go through it. Okay, but here it is. After all that, you got people who turn around and talk smack about about Yahweh Shai. Talking, uh, talking about uh, he didn't he didn't really turn water to wine. His miracles weren't really miracles. They were just you know they were all symbolic and parabolic. You know, you know and when 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 it says the mother of Yahweh Shai told him to ask him to turn the water to wine to wine, really it was just the nation of Israel asking him for a doctrine. Really, but here is saying that. He was prophesied of in the Old Testament to come and fulfill, right? Fulfill what it was that he was prophesied of to do. So is that not a part of the doctrine? You know? But hey, it, that that that's that's another another topic for, you know. Ah <sighs> uh continuing first Peter chapter one. Okay, where was I? Uh um Oh, right here, verse 11, yeah. All right, searching what or or what manner of time the spirit of Hamashiach was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Hamashiach and the glory that should follow, okay? And um, it was in that same book of Isaiah, when you read in the book of Acts, it tells you when Philip went and met that Ethiopian, all right, uh, the eunuch, that he was he was reading the book of uh, uh, um he was reading the book of Isaiah about that, and he didn't understand what the scripture meant or who 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 it was talking about. And so I uh, uh, Philip had to break it down to him, all right, that it was talking about Yahweh Shai, not Isaiah himself, but Yahweh Shai, which he was an Israelite, you know, the uh, uh, that that eunuch was an Israelite who got baptized, all right, and he believed, okay. So you can't just take, you know, when when you read something, you have to read it, look into it. You can't just, oh, Ethiopian, yep, that means uh, Gentiles and heathens are, are, you know, they're part of it now, okay? Um, so continuing on, um, it says, verse, verse 12, Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, right, but unto us they did minister the things, all right? Because... You got to keep in mind, there's certain scriptures that were written, all right, that when the prophets got the vision and wrote it down, they didn't even understand it. Now, it was revealed to them what it was that was going to happen, but they didn't understand it. They didn't have the breakdown to it, all right? It wasn't until later on, all right, that the, the, the men that came after them, all right, 
or you could say they came back in the reincarnation uh, uh, were to come and read those same scriptures that were written down and to break them down. Okay. So it says here unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things because it was prophecy. It was meant for the future. And it tells you in Romans 15 and 4. Let's get that real quick. All right. What was written, right? Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, meaning in the past, were written for our learning. Whoa. But we're, we're in the future. See? That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So it was revealed unto them and they wrote it aforetime, but it was written for our learning. Okay. As I'll continue to read here. Um, verse 12. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which were who? The apostles and, and the disciples, all right, and, and the men of the Lord, which were uh, preaching and teaching at that time and also now, okay? Which things the angels desire to look into, okay? Because the work that we're doing is, is literally the greatest work above all, all right? In the sense of, in the sense of we're doing the greatest job on earth, all right? But angels, the angels, it's not, it's not their lot to come down here and prophesy and do what we got to do, okay? When it tells you in the book of Jude, all right, the angels that kept not their first estate, that's, that's the elect, okay? It, it, it's, it's, it's the lot of the elect was to go through what we're going through now, all right, to, to be in the cha these chains of darkness and to prophesy, all right, and to preach this word. Okay, specifically the 144,000. And you also have the rest, all right, of the elect. Okay, but it's not, you, you know what I mean? The angels have a different lot to play. All right. However, the things that we're, the thing, the work we're doing is that great. That it says which things the angels desire to look into. Okay. But once again, it's not their lot to do that. All right. It says, wherefore, gird up. Hey, you have some angels that just remain in the presence of the Lord. That it tells you they just they 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 uh you have the they 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 cast I believe if I'm saying it right they take off their 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 uh their crowns and cast it before the Lord constantly. You have angels that are constantly singing in the presence of the Lord, constantly praising His name, and that's their lot <laughs> to do that. So it says, wherefore gird up your loins, or gird up the loins of your mind. All right, be sober and hope to the end for. For, for the grace that is to be brought onto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So right now, you're supposed to be preparing for that. Because when all hell breaks loose, man, it's time for action. All right? It's time to put that practice to play, man. Okay? And, and, and you're not going to be able to fake it then. It's going to be what you got. <laughs> okay? So if you're preparing your faith now, you'll be good. If not, look, man... You, the Lord is the Lord. Instead of adding, He's gonna take away from you even that which you have. So if you're chilling, not doing anything, you know, you you there. The scriptures tell you to give all diligence to make your calling and election sure. So that doesn't mean just oh, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start. You know, maybe I started off and I, I'll do a video a day or I'll do this or I'll do that and and I'll get comfortable with it and I'll just stay there. No, you have to be constantly improving. Okay. Whether it means studying, all right, which studying is really gaining experience in the mind, okay? So whatever the case may be, you have to constantly abound, stay occupied, set spiritual goals for yourself. That's how you give all diligence because you're constantly, constantly practicing, constantly crafting or constantly, you know, going at it to perfect your craft, that's how you stay improving and you don't stay stagnant. When you stay stagnant, it feels like nothing is moving and everything is getting boring and there's no point in what you're doing. So you end up stopping. Okay? But we don't stop until the revelation of Yahweh Shai. We don't stop until we're in them chariots, man. That's when you can take a break. <laughs> That's when you can have a sigh of relief. It says, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts of your ignorance. The wickedness used to commit break going off before before being conformed and coming into this truth. All right. You, you, you got to You got to change your mindset and change all of that.
and put away all those former lusts because you did that out of ignorance. Getting crisp ass lineups, shaving your beard off, eating pork, all those different things was out of ignorance. Now that you know better, the Lord is going to punish you in a more severe way. It says, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. All right. The way you carry yourself, the things you say. All right. That's the mindset to be in, man. But. I'm, a, I'm just going to get this last precept real quick. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. That's what we're looking for, right? The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So now is the time to continue to gather and add on to that wisdom and knowledge. All right. And with that, add on to your faith and add on to everything else to build yourself up, man. Okay. Like in for those who play 2K, you know, you got skill points, you know, to improve your different, you know, 